You want to give people an alternative. It's big, man. You know, I, I seen, uh, like, Volkswagen, mm. they're uh, contemplating selling, you know, what is Bugatti, I mm -hmm. think they have, yeah. and also Lambo because, yeah. I mean, those cars are not... They haven't, I mean, not to say they won't, but they're not worrying about the electric right now. Nah. So they think about selling them out just to focus on that. And I'm like, they really finna do it's this. Happening. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, they really bro. finna do this. Like, we gonna really have electric cars. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. Would you drive one? Would you own one? You know what? I know it's one of those things that's, you know, it's, you just can't avoid it. Mm -hmm. You know, so as long as you're gonna have your car, because what's gonna happen, they're gonna bring out something that's gonna catch the eye. And you're going to be in a position to get it. Mm -hmm. You're going to be like, okay, like you know, this. but I will, you know what I'm saying? I will. The, the last car that runs on fuel that I have before I make the transition, I will cherish and keep that yeah. with me. I will hold it dearly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, the full electric, not so much yet. I like the hybrids, like the yeah. Fisker Commerce. That was kind of the car I wanted. That's dope. They shouldn't stop making that. They, they did. They bought it over. It has a successor now. It's called Karma Rivero. But they make it. Because the, the issue was the dude made it. He funded it itself. So mm -hmm. the battery, you know how that goes. Test run. Right, so he, right. But, yeah, he he pretty much, it's another car. So it's, they make it. And I, that's the one I'm kind of leaning towards. But then you got the Hummer that came out. Man, that's nice. <laughs> so that's electric, right? Yes. Man, that's nice, man. That's, hey. You know, when I first seen that, when, well, you know, I, I seen the story, you know, before they brought it out that it was going to have the top. I'm like. Uh, where, where are we going here? What yeah. are we doing? What what your boy said on the uh, on the Sprite commercial? Is like, what's my motivation? Like, right, what's right, your right. motivation for even doing this to a Hummer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when I seen it, you know, I remember you you sent me a picture. I was like, Dang. wait a minute, this is astounding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, then that's guess, a great design. And guess who they got to promote it? LeBron James. Oh yeah. So you already know. And he behind it. That's better than them damn Kias. <laughs> Look, let me tell you, I'm not I'm not saying if you drive a Kia, I'm not shitting on you or anything I, like that. We just know LeBron does not drive Kias. First yeah. of all, he too damn big. Yeah, you too damn big. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. LeBron, get your big ass out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know better, son. Come on, man. You know, but yeah, yeah, that's that's a nice one, man. But when I seen it again, I'm like, man, you know, then I got the Bronco. You know what I'm saying, but I don't know if they did an electrical. Anymore. Not yet, but it's 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 probably gonna happen. The next ten years, we're gonna see it. It's it's bound to happen. So how long do you think we got until we just you know we totally go electric? Uh, ten, fifteen years. Yeah, I can see ten, that. fifteen. Because yeah. now we're getting into self driving. That's becoming a yeah. thing. So anybody that wants to invest, there's these self driving technology companies. You know, somebody, right. I was somebody was saying the other day. I was talking to my partner, and he was uh, asking you know about. You know, mm -hmm. invest, and I said, man, you know, try, you know, electric. The people, you know, the companies who are making the batteries, you know, for this company, i.e., the dude who make the sensors. Mm -hmm. You know, could you imagine putting into his startup, and you know where you at now, just that quick? Yeah. You know, where you can take. Okay, if he's a billionaire, I mean, I'm pretty sure you a couple. You know, maybe a couple hundred thousand strong mm -hmm. to where you can take that and invest in other things. But, you know, it's it's really opening the market, man. But the whole tech thing, man, you know, I know that's the way, you know, we're really going to go. I mean, the Jetsons, obviously. It's, it's coming out. <laughs> right. It was it was a pictorial, you know what I'm saying, you know, an animation, you know, to foresee things where they're going to be. But, man, look, it's definitely going to it's definitely gonna change. Well, the game. technically, they were right because the time frames were about these years. It's yeah. just because they made these in the 70s, 60s, 70s. So now oh, we the too, whole flying car thing, that's, that's nah, not even a concept no more. Nah, it's just it's, not out to nah, us. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is true. This <laughs> At true. this point, you know, like, well, we give it to them once it's old. Once we're done with it, you know, test it in this site, you know. Because it's um the the, the self driving is called the Motley Fuel Fool, and it's like a, uh, they got shares that they're trying to provide now that where you can get on it. So I just feel that if you can catch it now, because yeah. this gonna be something that's gonna be what here. it is again. The Motley Fool, Fool, M O T L E Y, F O O L. Okay. So and it's yeah. like a, it's like a platform where you can buy this. Uh, it's it's their actual website, and they you know they start oh, they startups. Make, yeah. Make, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Doing all this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, you know, and, and that's one of the things that you know I think that again, you know, what I'm saying the you know the the black despair. You know, mm -hmm. won't be able to. I won't. Now let me say, not won't be able to. You know, they won't pay attention to in the beginning. You know, what I'm saying when it really matters. Mm -hmm. You know, that's said better. Yeah, they won't pay attention to it in the beginning when it when it really matters. And yeah. you know, 
it's really finna change, you know. It's you know, sometimes when the train's going, you're trying to get on and jump on, and it's already moving too fast for you to even get a hold. There to will it. be tr- they're they're really pushing the whole truck drivers being like the whole self driving truck. That's that's yeah, the next that. thing that's coming. So that you see Amazon, you see all these shipping companies trying to figure out ways to get that to get these packages out quicker. So it's crazy, man. They just want to, you know, they just want to get rid of humans. <laughs> I, I started to think, well, well, damn, are y'all gonna give us some money? Right? <laughs> the, 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 shit, y'all taking away all the jobs? Yeah, because like we say, we talked about a while ago how one of those the store Amazon has is they're trying to push this no cashier, nothing but. Yeah, you scan. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that. So you, you might- know, and that works. You know what I'm saying. And the only reason why that would actually work is because you know, uh, I would say from the '80s babies, mm-hmm. you know, on you know, on up, those are you know the beings who you really scan. like. Okay, I don't mind going to the self checkout, but mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> the old baby boomers, <laughs> man, they have a fit. I see uh, one. They just say, "Shit, I just want a person." And you know, I I didn't even much jump on. I, you know, I felt that you're right, ma'am. You know, because she was just, that lady was driving her ass crazy. Scan again, not bad. God damn it! You know, they didn't. You know, that's aggravating when somebody keep the same tone with you and they don't change. Please place item in bag. Right. right. You don't have any money. But I see you know, broke that, ass what, bitch. What was that? Because you know they piled a lot of stuff. I think it was in was it in California? Huh. I believe it was when they piloted that store. Amazon store It's the possible store. I went over. So it's probably Over there in Silicon Valley Somewhere I'm yeah, pretty sure yeah. You know how that go You know what I'm saying <laughs> Tech town Yeah We just It's how you, you you have to be Tech savvy now It's it's, it's only It's just you, we, We've escaped it For too long It's it's here now you, <laughs> Yeah you have to have Some type of involvement In it and get savvy Because if not You're going to fall behind Because mm-hmm. a lot of things are, are starting to rely On tech Excuse me mm-hmm. On tech you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If you if you don't know, it's it's definitely gonna be a problem. Just like the digital, I'm seeing it's more and more cars, more companies trying to get their own car out. Cause that you see, even just the I was reading something where Mercedes is struggling with sales because really? yeah because of you got companies like Genesis. Yeah, Genesis on that. Genesis. <laughs> Them ain't being dumb. Mm-hmm. I seen that uh the the um what it was the new one they mm-hmm. got. It's, it's not a crossover. It's a, is it the SUV? Could it be considered mm-hmm. an SUV? No. I seen it. Remember you talking about? Yeah, I seen yeah. it. That's nice. That's a chariot. Because mm-hmm, I mean, the high, the i eight is already borderline. I think it's a hybrid, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, it's it's just, it's just it's, it's 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 you have to adjust now. You can't get too cocky because it's right now it's BMW, Lexus, then Mercedes. Never used to be like that. Used that to makes be. Sense. Yeah. So. You know, people, BMW, BMW, excuse me, is very popular. Yeah, man. Especially when you ride around. The speed, the speed, the speed. Yeah, but you know, yesterday, man, you know, you know, as we know, the MX. Oh, X, man. Yeah, man. The dog. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, the dog. Excuse me, my son, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that was one rapper that my whole family listened to. They were like, oh, DMS yeah. on. He, he, he was, he was a, a phenomenal rapper, mm-hmm. man. You know what I'm saying? He did, you know, extreme amount of sales. You mm-hmm. know, extreme amount of sales. I, I didn't listen to him a lot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I did have a dear friend, you know, he transcended as well, who mm-hmm. who loved him. Yeah. You know, but that's who, you know, uh, that's who introduced me, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, to X. And then, you know, the songs that I did listen to, you know, as again, yeah. it was very heartfelt. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, it was, you know, it was him. You know, once you get a chance to see him, you know, outside of, you know, being a uh, a celebrity mm-hmm. and to see him as a person. You just pull you know? up on him. Like, he was yeah, one of them people. Was his songs, you know, that was him. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like he he was a powerful force, man. That yeah. man. Sh- he was. Yeah, he was. It was, it was. He was a cornerstone <laughs> in you know hip hop. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and, and what and what built it? I mean, of course he from. Uh, where was he from exactly? I don't want to quote it wrong. Yeah. I know. It was, I'm assuming New York. I'm not sure exactly where. I don't, I don't want to say. I don't think. Let's was, see. I don't think it was Harlem. We could always, we always find it. Damn I don't man. Think it was Harlem. You know, we don't want to get it wrong. Hey, they come on our ass. Yo, B. Yo, son. <laughs> that ain't it, yo. Mount Vernon, New York. Okay, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I knew he was from New York. Just wanted to make mm-hmm. sure. Okay. Yeah, man. And, and uh, he sold like 23 albums. 23 yeah. albums, 23, 23 million. million. 23 million, yeah. That's a lot. That's something that 
You know what I'm saying? That these nigga never got damn mm-hmm. do. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you got to think For too, real. like as far as box office, he had about two hundred million dollars in box office sales. It movies. That's you know crazy. In, in, in movies and in, in movie sales, that, that's big. <laughs> Twenty three million and two seventy. Twenty three million. I mean, but that's but strings wasn't even around. Mm-hmm. That means that you had to go buy it. People went out and bought those albums. He was one, you know one of the first people. Oh damn, he was one of the first few people that. <laughs> He was one of the first few people that uh that was dropping albums back to back. I'm like, he, yeah, did he just he drop did. one? Did he drop another? I think he said he was the the second uh, rapper to land five number one billboards. Mm. You know, billboard chart song. That dude, that man, he's one of those people you grew up watching. Man, it was just you just always. It's like you always rooted for him. Like when he come, when he gonna do something? I mean, one time he did a documentary. He was like, uh, I don't care about none of y'all. I will fuck a midget up if he fuck with me. I was like. Yeah, and that's yeah, him for serious. real. That's him for real, man. I remember uh, Young Berg was saying, he say, man, he, he really liked that. He like a dog. He say, you know. You know yeah, and, I'm, and I'm quoting Young Berg. He say, man, Young Berg, you know what I'm saying? When I was out, man, one of the first bitches I ever got, he took. He say they was in the hotel room. Berg said they was in the hotel room walking through, walking through the, the hotel, excuse me, walking through the hall. And say, DMX came out like a dog for real. So he say, hey, you saw that? I think you left something in my room. And he say shit. She looked and ran over there. He like, I ain't that some shit. This nigga, the dog just took it. <laughs> right. Yeah, For man. real, just to hear the story. But, I mean, you know, very impactful, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, noticing everybody just just, just seeing how much, you know, he meant to a lot of people, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's getting emotional. out of a lot of people. I mean, I seen Gunplay, man, was yeah. having a very, you know, he was having a, he put a very emotional post on him. You know, if anybody know Gunplay, man, that nigga, that, you, you know what I'm saying? Nothing. He going for real. Yeah. You know, but that just shows how, you know, how impactful you know, you can be on people just being genuine, which he yeah. was. Yeah, man. DMX was, was that guy, man. Like, yeah. you just. Very genuine. You just. Like I said, I would, I would literally watch the movies to the end credits just to see the music video. This is not obviously VHS times. VHS times. But yeah. I would watch the, to the end. He's like, man. So it just, man, that, that's, it's, it's, it's crazy. Because you grew up with that. Like, hearing that, y'all going to make me lose my mind. That was like, he was like the first rapper that my parents was like, you know what? You can listen to him. I know he a little vulgar, but you, you can, we, we don't mind playing him with you. Like my dad loved Tupac, but he was like, ah. But with DMX, he was like, yeah, you, 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 you can listen to him. Right. And right. he would watch all his movies. So it, 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 he was kind of, he was kind of a little ill will about it. He was like, man, that's messed up. It's just... I damn DMX, but you know, Life. it's all about what you do. Why are you here? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's it. You know, it's all about you know what you do. We have a choice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. You know, like a lot of people say, you know, it was written. You know, but you know, we have a choice. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Of how it's written, sometimes you know, you may not know now. You might not know the now. You know what I'm saying, but you know, it's just it's, it's there. It is. You know what I'm saying. It is. Because mm-hmm. oftentimes people take life for granted. Yeah, they yeah. Just, they just take it for granted. Yeah, a lot. I, I mean, a lot of a lot of people do, man. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people do. I think it, it takes, you know, some people it takes trauma for them to actually realize, you know, what life is. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I, I don't want to be one of those individuals. Nah, man. That's what I say. Just be appreciative. Like, yeah. Vision, yeah. walking, talking, being able to talk to people that actually care about you, and yeah, that's that's because the thing with it is, we won't see. The work we put in, because once we die, that's when you see everybody presented to you. It's yeah, just how it goes. Uh-huh. You will never see it. No, they say give you flowers right here. You'll kind of, but yeah, yeah, once that, you that whole, you know, I mean, people still do genuine people. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I'm an advocate for it. Yeah, genuine people still will give you a flower. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I believe I, I'll do it constantly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, constantly and consistently, because I believe that it's. It's essential. You don't want the bad. You don't want the last thing you say to somebody to be some fucked up shit. Exactly. Well, I could have. I exactly. could have said this and this and. and then I, you know, I, and then um, you know, in in addition to that, I don't know what you have on your mind. So I need to be light. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I need to be light, be of service. You may need a little bit of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I may not know. Yeah. He made them days, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, you say, ooh, you start looking at that. Uh, uh-uh. so that's why I think it's it's important that if it's something bothering you, talk to the person. You'd be surprised. It's most of the stuff we argue about is the dumbest shit ever. Once you really look at it and you really talk about it, it's like that's what we was mad about. Oh, man. Ego, yeah, ego, big time, ego. big time. Yeah, I, I just it's good to see that he 
It's crazy now you look at it. He did his verses with Snoop. Yeah. He, you see what I'm saying? He did it. So you you thinking like, man, we could have. Well, he, he was present, man. He All right. And the opportunity came around. He usually would do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was out for it. Mm-hmm. He got back out. And he was out for it. Mm-mm-mm. Goddamn rest in peace, DMX, boy. Definitely. Now, yeah, he was on a Def Jam Vendetta. All that shit. I remember that game.